Hello everybody, my name is Song, and welcome to Life is Strange Before a Storm, episode 3, final episode of this mini-series. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. It's called Hell is Empty. There's also a bonus episode, so we will play the bonus episode, probably split it up, but uh, let's get straight into it. I'm excited for this. Uh, make sure everything is running. Uh, how do we say it? Start episode. I don't want to lose audio like I did last time. <laughs> Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad was lying about something. It's crazy last episode I though. Just, Shoot. I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame <coughs> to go around. What does that mean? You forced <sighs> my hand. Yeah, I don't like it. This is a consequence of your actions. Good Chloe. job, Chloe. Throw out your we books. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Oh, I'll hey. say that. Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard is all I've got about? Truck. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my yeah, well, we, we couldn't just leave him there. Juliet, kind of crazy. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our area. Well, that's kind of uh, Rachel's fault. I swear to <coughs> you, we shall fly beyond this aisle. The corners of the world are I wonder what we're gonna meet what Jefferson this my most episode. Because that's how she disappeared. Yes. Rachel disappeared. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's, it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen what would it take to convince you yeah sure i'm surprised the Why fire didn't you start just tell me the fucking truth rachel that woman you saw your actual mom that wasn't my mistress that was your mother did that freaking throw me for a loop last episode shoot dude Everybody's throwing for a loop right now. Whew. I don't know where I think. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. The heck? Of oh, course. Freaking out. In every way that matters... Rose is my wife and your mother, but the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your okay. birth mother. I feel like she's going to cause trouble somehow. Shoot. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. This is interesting but representation. This can be hard to look at. Is this <laughs> really something you're ready for? But still, like, why would he go and, like, hook up with her again? That's kind of strange. These are my eyes, right? But, I don't know. It's got a weird relationship happening. Chloe. <sighs> This is the first they usually don't let us play for a while. Oh, fuck, man. When I was in high school. Oh, boy. There was one person. Everyone adored. She does kind of look like Rachel. Her teachers. Kind of. Friends. <laughs> Sarah was everyone's favorite. Now she kind of a druggy, washed out feeling. Like. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long. Courtship. <coughs> so bad cough. So no. passionate about everything early on though I realized I wasn't enough for her so what happened
happened. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for She's any a wild card. Like Rachel. She was looking for escape. Yep. Just like Rachel. Couldn't stay. That also kind of reminds me of um when Sarah became pregnant. But what'd you call it? Sean and Daniel's it mom. And it did. That's her bracelet. A while. <gasps> Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love. How could she stand life. up and walk around though? That's the thing. Usually women who give birth like lay in bed for a while. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. Skip us. Is that a needle on the bed? The need to escape was always there. Yeah, that does very much sound like Sean and Daniel's mom. Oh flip, yep. She turned to drugs. For over a year. I tried to help her. Oh fuck. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Oof. That no matter what happened. Uh oh. She would never do anything to hurt you. Uh oh. I was wrong. Oh no. <clears throat> Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. Don't flip. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Don't flip. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm me. The Rachel is kind of like her mom. The need to be free, I guess. In union. <clears throat> what you saw at the Overlook? Oof. Rachel. It was true. We kissed. The saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. And she felt like she'd gotten <sighs> her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. No, well, she wanted to come back. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. <coughs> she to be your mother. <coughs> <coughs> and she squandered it. Dang. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again. And again, to keep you safe. I guess that does make sense. But I don't know how Rachel's going to act when she hears this. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. Jeez. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel. Rachel's gonna be no, she wants to see it. Uh, why not? Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. It is true. I will so. not allow you to be victimized by her disease 
again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. Mm -hmm. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <laughs> Rachel. That is true. I think I need to lie down. Yeah, I would have to lie down too. That happened to me, man. <sighs> so I guess we're not leaving yet since of all this it's happening. Good SMS. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I texted like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. <laughs> hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't. But you totally saved us. How dare you do this? Oh, I remember from the first game. Seriously, come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I, I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Yeah. Oh, we just teleported upstairs. Sure. <coughs> oh man. Do si do. I don't know how to just feel this beginning of this episode, man, dude. What do we even say to Rachel? What did Rachel? Rachel? Some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Let me see, look at this card. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she yeah. seems so. To our wonderful daughter, the night of oh, her show, alone. break a leg. We love you, mom and dad. This is. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp. <laughs> she put, <laughs> she put um, plaid over it. Oh, she's one of the astrology girls. Makes sense that Rachel needs <coughs> two signs to contain her awesomeness. What? I shall call her Lion Crab. She's a Chancellor Leo. How does that work? What? I don't believe in any of this that stuff, but turn on, turn this on. Ooh. This light needs more light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. This light needs more light, or it needs more darkness, maybe. Uh, Wonder what I could find around here to brighten. Find a bright. <laughs> That's still my favorite thing. This is just like, it's <laughs> right there on hand. Like I need to find a bright light lighter. Maybe that lamp. Maybe. Take. Potentially. Nope. Is that? Oh, it works. Okay, sweet. This is an interesting thing. So just telling her we're here. We're going to turn on the light. Hello, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home later. It's, it doesn't matter. Mom, I can't right now. Please. Oh. Flashlight. Well, it should work. What's she doing? Oh. No, oh, she's placing it on. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Bet that would work. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Stars.
Yeah, I do feel bad for Rachel. It's hard, man. Hey. Check it out. Oh, That does look very cool. It's... Beautiful. I thought you might like it. No. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. It's kind of true. Because Shall we're be. blinded by what's in front of us. Exactly. We're stuck in the town. Why is it all spinning? What? The truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. Well, that's kind of down. They're all lies. Still beautiful, though. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then they're still real. What's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> my mom. If I can even call her that anymore. She's still your mom. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Hmm. I'm honored, but that's... I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> but to say that is to ignore the love that her, her mom and her dad gave her. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. You should take it back. No. There's nowhere else I'd rather keep it than my dear. <laughs> but that's like ignoring all of like they've done for her. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. <laughs> for me. I think I need to see her. It's not wrong, Is that wrong, but I feel like she's gonna choose her real mom over not. the two people who took care of her whole life. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah, that's true. Luckily, she's blind. I've got my secret weapon. Also, I don't think she's clean because she's still dealing drugs with uh, Frank. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Oh, that's Frank. I've got an idea. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? <sighs> I'll give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Of course, even if we know where she is... We need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I've got that one too. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got that one covered too. We got a car. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. I don't know about that. I know you will. But even if we find her, 
How will I talk to her? What do I say? Hmm. It doesn't matter. After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Mm -hmm. Your dad? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. <laughs> Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? Sergio? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? <clears throat> as long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right? Yeah. Mm. I have a feeling that meeting her bro mom is gonna be pretty chaotic, not gonna lie. There's gonna be a lot a lot of drama. Here's our dream sequence again. Let's see Let's see Let's see Chloe's dad. Or maybe. What the heck? What the heck? <coughs> what the heck? This is kind of strange. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey. Maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. You always do it wrong. Dang. That was one thing. <coughs> when are you going to let it go? <laughs> Uh-oh. Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Oh, fun. Oh, my memories. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Oh, flip. Touche. These are just kind of creepy. Right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's happening? So weird. His dreams are so creepy. What are we even looking for? Nothing. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you see anything? <laughs> nope. And nothing here. Like what? There's nothing here. Really? That's odd. Well, I know it's not the spark plug. I just got that replaced. What? Huh? I said it's not the spark plug. What? This is not real. Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. R Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Nope. Don't worry on the stage. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. 
Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason <coughs> we pretend. Maybe. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. That is pretty dark. Where do you think you get it from? Dang. There's my cue. Oh. Dad. Oh. Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Mm -hmm. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh, jeez. Was dark and depressing, man. Well, at least we can play something now. Stick in. I should have turned off my notifications. <clears throat> Explore Oregon. Room just as messy as before. Okay. <sighs> I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. Mm hmm. He might know how to find her. Maybe. Plus. He likes me, and he owes me one from yesterday. Now he likes you. I can do this. Come on, dude. Come on, Frank. Pick up. up. Price, I got your collector's fee. Coming to get it? Hey, Frank. I was actually going to cash in for a favor instead. What do you say? Never run out of crap. <laughs> I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Did he hang up? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm helping a friend. I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? Yeah. Me in the junkyard in two hours. Sweet. <coughs> Thanks, man. You're a real. Hmm. That Sounds went well, I guess. Something's fishy. What am I getting myself into? Right. Are we gonna go downstairs for progress or sneak out the window again? Or what was born of coming home then? Rachel, thank you for being with me unless I feel a lot better. Guess what? Hmm. <laughs> okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he said he'd get in touch with Sarah. Holy crap. Yep, I'm still at my house just starting grabbing tools for the trucks. So, meet at the junkyard. I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. Just fucking amazing. Time to shower, cause we stink. Is mom playing music? Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Other way, so her trouble is that. Uh, uh, oh yeah, she totally is. I'm guessing you're her little psychic now. Yup. What? <laughs> Oh, I have not, I've had nobody. It was, it was all about Rachel. I don't know why I'm telling you this, cause you're alone in Rio for being a. That's not true. How dare you? That was kind of messed up that she drugged Victoria. Not gonna lie. All right here is the good old classic is bathroom. That David's towel. Where the hell is mine? Uh oh. Throw it in the basket. Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. Lots of washcloths. No towel. No towel. Just throw it in the search. Nope, not in the baskets. 
Your awesome pirate tower. No, our pirate tower. No. Let's see, electric razor. Maybe. <clears throat> Score. Nice. Aww. She still kept her pirate stuff. I can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate. But we're gonna dye our hair blue. Nice. I caught around to it. What is it? Give me the best shower of my life. Oh, it took me forever, but I got to turn it off. Right. Tied his shower. And let the lady have, let the lady have some privacy, okay? It's a fat block of soap. She didn't even close the door though. I guess it's her home, but I would still close my door if I was showering. It's so cute that she has the pirate, uh, the pirate uh, towel. That's kind of cute. Oh, we're dying right here. It's probably not permanent. At least I don't think it is. It's kind of just. But she should probably. Oh, she just did a streak. Oh, interesting. Yeah, pretty cool. And you usually, I thought usually you need to bleach your hair first. I think you gotta, right? So you don't. It's just gonna get a weird color. <coughs> She's gonna steal her parent, her mom's clothes. She hasn't done any clothes. Close, she gonna steal. Oh, the boots. William's clothes. Oh, she's gonna take that. Don't lift your back. What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? I kind of like that dragon shirt. Not gonna lie. Skull or dragon. I'm definitely picking a dragon. We're going dragon style. Okay, sorry, my mom needed some stuff done. She needed she did call. Uh, exit. All right, one last. I like that dragon T-shirt. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty. I need Kick to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Uh. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Wait, what? Then does she have two dragon shirts? Yo, Chloe, you want to give me that dragon shirt? Whole oh, two oh, universe. That's the universe where dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. Class photo. Oh, look at that. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Oh. Let's see. Report card. I'm about to rack up a lot <coughs> more absences. See, I, I mean, I don't blame you. See, D in English? Come on. Uh, well, because you miss. Holy flip. 12 absences. You gotta see in physical ed. Come on, Morgan. It's so easy. All you have to do is just do, just like exercise, like just be active. Like, but I know Chloe's a rebel, but I'm like, if you actually try, like, there's no way you would get. Yeah, there we go. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom? Close to zero. And yeah, we just teleport. I love that aspect. We just teleport downstairs. That's one thing Life is Strange 2 did very well. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet. I told you three minutes each side. Oh. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flat. You I cook see. all the time. I want you to have a break at home. That's yes, true. Oh. You are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Oh. Don't bump into it. It'll burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what 
a bunch of what a bunch of uh s silly gooses. Hey, who's there? No. Hey. Chloe, your uh -huh. hair. When did you was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean I I did, but this is uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. She's not really good at it. I'm not staying long. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Come on, David. Oh. No. Are you coming home tonight? Mom... I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Just hang out with Rachel. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. <laughs> it's kind of... really gotta oh, go. you gotta tell him Listen, more. wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. No. It won't take but a minute. Hopefully this doesn't cause more drama. Knowing Mom. Chloe. Knowing Chloe probably will, to be honest. That's just how Chloe is. Chloe. I... Uh, I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Yeah, Please. he's trying to apologize to you. I owe you an apology. Oh, see, he's in the <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. Uh, apology accepted. I, I, I want to do that, but... Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. Actually, he's actually... What? It's great. He listens to you. Mm. Can we be done now? No. Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. Mm. I've been meaning to show you something. What is that? Maybe, maybe now's a good time. What is that? This is my friend, Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Mm -hmm. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day mm -hmm. he's trying to the point is i've had my share of grief i know what you're going through so i guess what i'm saying is i'm here to do what whatever i can see so we see here he's actually trying to do his best but it just escalates over, over time the loss of your dad Till they start, you know, arguing constantly. Can't even talk anymore. Please, <sighs> I'm begging you. Give David a chance. Won't He's you? trying here his best. Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? I swear, if Chloe Think about wrecks that photo, I'm not gonna be happy. As much as I love Chloe, I will be angry if he she takes it. 
Well, we're gonna accept David's offer. Ow, fuck. But, but, I swear she better not burn it or destroy it or something. David looks so young. And this Phil guy. Oh. They look close. That must be hard. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Aww. Mom. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you both. Oh, this Mom. just makes it really sad really how it ends up go. ultimately. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right. All right. You gotta say it back, too. Oh man, that hurts later his reaction. Like what the hell? Guns save lives. Rice cereal. I don't know if that's. Well, I guess this is like Rice crispy. I guess. Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Unless they moved it. Holy crap! This <coughs> might actually be helpful for fixing up. Dang, about, she's about to steal it. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming. Oh, I sneeze. Alright, let's get out of here. Fixing our truck up. Yes, sir. I wonder if they almost got the fire put out. That's where Chloe was going to run over by train years later. Because she always get into trouble. Troublemaker Chloe. Our little, our little troublemaker, that's right. Squirrel. My squirrel kind of looks a little funky, but it's okay. Oh, she actually seems like, oh, I'm, I'm surprised the tires aren't like completely Come dead. Flat and dead. Come on. I would not know how to fix this truck. I'd be like, it's stuff. Click, 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 click. With me here. Oh, did she lose it? Dang, gone. Or did it fall in? <laughs> oh, oh. Well, we got it though. Do we have to actually fix? I hope we don't have but to fix it. I don't know how to fix a car. A Please, I don't know how to fix a car. Ah. Oh. <laughs> David. Chloe, this is David. Did my mom give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took her. Are you working on a project? Sort of. Like, what kind of project? It's like, uh, sorry, I'm a little busy right now. But I'm glad you're taking an interesting. Uh, I'm glad to see you taking an interesting interest in it. Keep it up. I just need oh, to well, right he's, he's supportive. I don't flipping know what any of this stuff does. Um, okay, let's check it. This thing seems. Pretty gunked up. Yep. Okay, let's try to fix this first. I think I should move on to something else. Uh. Right, let's look at the menu. It's not like I need a manual. Um. But I'm really glad it's. Here. I don't flipping know what any of this is. Shoot, I'd be dead. Uh. Let's check this. I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, we already we did get a new battery too, so the distributor cap looks pretty gross. I don't know what that does. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Uh toolbox. A screwdriver, probably. I mean I'm assuming. <clears throat> yeah, screwdriver. Scrape it off. I'm glad somebody knows what they're doing, because I don't know what the flip I'm doing, dude. I should learn how to just to like fix cars and stuff, or at least somewhat. That should help keep shit distributed. <laughs> because it oh, oh. oh fuck. Uh, what's that? Uh, air quality advisors. Our cardio bay watch. Our cardio bay is moderate to heavy smoke expected. Limit outdoor activity. Oh, that's not good. Go back from once you came. You can see where Max and Claire just. The same silly gooses. Silly goose. This connection is pretty shaky. 
Okay, we're good. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Uh, pliers, I'm assuming. There we go. I snap it in. Good, at least it tells us how to do it instead of just leaving us out to dry because I would just cry. There. I'm not a mechanic. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Zap you to death. Okay, then we need intake tube. What is this? What do we need? Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. I think most of us, Coley. <laughs> At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. It's true. Better leave it be. Okay. Now what's this? Check. I know I know what that is. <laughs> Click. Clack. What is that anyways? This thing is going to the fuck up. What is it though? Uh, screwdriver, switch with screwdriver. I'm assuming we probably use screwdriver to screw stuff out. Uh, or not. And blow it through. <coughs> Maybe. I don't want Wait! Ew! I don't know if I want to put my Sick. mouth on that. Ew! Call we. It's not the most hygienic girl. <laughs> Like, I mean, like, I don't mind my hands getting dirty, but putting your mouth on it? Gross. Is that a thing? If you guys know about cars, is that a thing? I don't know, man. That's nasty. What are we pulling? It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Wrench. <sighs> yeah. I love these types of wrench. Click, click, click. You got it? Much better. Yeah, I think we've got most of the stuff done. Got everything fixed? Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Maybe you go find another one with a another spark plug somewhere else. Oh. Oh wait, that's the, that's her dad's car. The spark plug's gonna be there because his her dad said it. Oh man, that must be hard to see. See the car where your dad died in. Oh, shoot. Please, I need you. Oh, works. Hallelujah, it works. I'm surprised the tires work. Yeah. I'm gonna wash our hands. There's no license plate, but shoot. That's a crazy 16 year old driving around. Like a madman. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on, Chloe. Oh my gosh. You're gonna hit somebody! Chill! Oh my gosh! Perfect song came on. It'd be funny with some classical music. That would've been hilarious. We're gonna wash our hands. We're gonna wash our hands. Um. What is that? Oh, there's dust coming up. She got a little full of blue hair. Huh. Hey! Junkyard queen! Where are you at? Right here. That did just not come hey. off that easily. Holy shit! Your hair! It's so... Rad. <laughs> Badass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that shirt looks awesome too. I might add. Thank you. You like anything that starts fire. Ooh, bro. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. 
Get here for a while. Or... Should we check it out? Yeah. Oh. It's hey, nice. Nice wheels. Hey. Hey, you look up and down. Oh. Oh. You're early, Frank. She Let's looked her up and down, and she was like, "Ooh, uh oh." It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Uh oh. Frank here's becoming a man, aren't you, big guy? You know. What's he doing here? Hey, I thought we were cool after that Drew North. What the thing. fuck is happening? Don't you want to be cool? Yeah. We're cool. I don't know what's going on. I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. She's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl Whoa. Thing. Cho, 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 cho. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Yo. Ooh. Don't fucking touch her. Yeah, get him, Rachel. Oh, this is not good. I don't think this guy's gonna like it. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, reminds me a lot of the first time we were at Frank. In the junkyard, Max and Chloe. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't. Maybe I'll show you. Uh oh. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that <clears throat> doesn't strike me as smart. Uh oh. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. Uh, why do you care so much? Yeah. Why do you care so much? Because fuck you. I don't really like this guy. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? She's about no. Uh oh. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Oh fuck. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think she he knows. No way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> no, he knows. That makes so much he knows. sense. Uh, he knows. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. Cares. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Uh oh. Oh, flip. Is he pulling? Oh, shit. Man. They're just kids. No, they're not. Dude, he put out. I mean, Frank put out. Is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, <laughs> calm down. We're still talking. I know. Shoot. Everything's still cool. Oh fuck. We need to get crazy. Oh fuck. Oh, oh shoot. How the hit? She hit. She hit Frank too. Oh fuck. He is. Fucking bitch. Oh. Oh. Grab the knife. Grab the knife. Oui. Oui. Oh shoot. Oh fuck. What the fuck? Yo! 
Holy flub. Go, 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 go. Flub, I thought she got stabbed in the stomach. Flub, dude. Oh no. Flub. That's bad. Flub, that's bleeding a lot. Flub, dude. Dude, that guy's freaking nuts, though. Shoot. Freaking crazy. I mean, Frank pulled a knife on us, too, but... He didn't stab us, at least. Oh, shoot. Fuck. The flips all the other nurses. Have one. <coughs> oh, fuck. Rocky was only her arm, though. Shoot. Knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. Ooh, fuck, man. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? Mm. Uh, it's my fault. It's my fault. I should have listened to you, Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. oh boy start over and tell me everything did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah we did I'm not going to chastise or blame you Chloe but I need the whole story I so, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, yep. that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? Ask about Sarah. He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing. None of his beeswax, that's what. Is that how it became violent? Mm hmm He wanted dirt on you. When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? It's my fault, I said Rachel. I called her Rachel. And he figured it out from there. It's not your fault. Mm -hmm. What happened next? Flo, this is emotionally taxing, dude. Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But could have grabbed the knife, but it's hard in a situation like that. When he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. Yeah, you're just a teenager. Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. 
but I don't know what happened. Shoot. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What about Damon? What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, mm -hmm. my department's been after him for some time. Shoot. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have. Um... Thank you, Chloe. Oh. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. I'm glad you can see that her dad does really care about her. And so. First, I thought his, her dad is just going to be a scumbag. I'm sure, like, he's not the best dad in the world. He's not the perfect, but you could tell that he loves her. Just like, kind of with David. Hey. Ultimately, like, loves Steph. her. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told oh. me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Oh. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Yeah, we'll come sure. by. Sure. Definitely. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> That's their dad. Oh. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Okay, is it this one? All right, we'll speak with All her. All right, then. Talk with his dad. Make Hi. Dad. Mr. North. That's me. And you are? Claire Price. I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. Yeah. How are things? How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. That's good. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. Yeah. I have a question maybe you can answer. Oh, uh, sure. Sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little... Oh, well, fun. We can't... I don't know. Guilty. Lately. Yeah. I've, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Well, oh, fuck. Uh, I'm just gonna say I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. Yeah. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been like keeping my dad. boys company. Mikey said he feels a lot safer around you. He's been seeming a little scared these days. Yeah. I think my work situation's disappointed him. Oh, <sighs> oh no. Actually, in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. Do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... No, uh -oh. excuse me. He's busy. All right, let's enter. Oh, the little, the little, the wizard bear, teddy bear. That's cute.